Good morning and welcome to April's Book of the Month, Messy Math, A Playful Outdoor Approach to Early Years by Juliet Robertson. Now a little word on the author, Juliet Robertson. She's also the author of another book called Dirty Teaching, A Beginner's Guide to Learning Outdoors. And in her experience as a consultant and as a previously a head teacher for different schools, she's very well placed to te help others in their educational practices and a very, very much enthusiastic person on the importance of learning outside. So in her book, Messy Math, she gives us a chance to look at math with a different lens. For example, if you look outside, just by looking outside, you can see the endless possibilities of shapes, numbers, moving objects, patterns, things to count, things to weigh, and the opportunities for investigations or for problem solving. Now, for little ones, all these concepts that are just out there, they need to embody them. They really, the, the <clears throat> mass concepts need to be embodied by our little ones. When they're outdoors, it makes connections between their hands, their heart, their head, and it lays the foundation for more complex work as children, they grow, they develop, and they learn. The natural world is an endless possibility and it cons it's cons consistently changing, we have to take this in into consideration. Now, she has very nicely built this book so that it's always significant. When you ask a child, for example, to count how many of counters are on the table, well, they'll always go back to what's significant to them. For example, their fingers. It's very significant, they use them every day, so they're able to go from there. Once it's acquired, once they've understood the concept of numbers and they can count in their head, well, they won't rely on their fingers anymore. So we have to go, for example, measurement is the same thing. If you ask a child to measure, to measure um, the desk, for example, well, they, they've never used a ruler. It's new to them. They might not know how to use it, what to do with it. Before you try to explain what a ruler is or how to measure things, why not go back to what they're used to, being, to doing outside? For example, playing with sticks, playing with rocks. If there's a rock that they're used to playing with, and you could say, they're, they'll be able to say, oh, well, this is seven rocks long, miss, or this is two, two and a half sticks long. They can even go and cut it in half because it makes complete sense to them. They're used to cutting them outside. So she really says that it's important to get dirty, get kids playing, get them inside, uh, outside, and their hands inside the, dirt, the dirt, the mud, and everything that's around them so that it's significant and let them explore. As they explore, they acquire it for themselves. It's not something that's taught, it's something that's discovered, which is, which is very rich for the kids, so they can then acquire it for themselves. It's this, oh, well, I'll, I'll talk to you about an experiment she does, Miss Robertson does, with the educators she um, trains, or parents that she used to explain different concepts to, because she would say, your kids this year will be going outside, they will get dirty. Why? This is why. So she would tell the parents to go around the, the schoolyard or in the park, wherever they were, and find something around them that was a meter long. So the parents would go, they would come back, and most of the parents had something that was about a meter long. Then she would go, but she would ask them, why do you think this is one meter long? And all the parents had a knowing concept of a meter. Some would say it's for Cahiers Canada. Some would say, well, my arm is about a little bit less than a meter, so I took something that's just a little bit longer than my arm. And this is what she would tell them. Well, this knowing that you have of what a meter is, this is exactly the knowing that children need to acquire through lots of practical play-based exploration. Not just counters on the desk, they need to go outside and live their math concepts. Which is very interesting because in her book, she doesn't just say this and then, ha, arrange-toi. No, she actually explores a lot of different areas of learning, which are very important to us teachers, and we want to follow the curriculum and blah, blah, blah. Well, this is a great way to feel secure and to go outdoors to do something new. Well, she explains where is the math in that first chapter, then general advice on how to use this, how to install this in the classroom, in the schools, then all of the math concepts you can imagine, exploring numbers, number fractions, money, measurement, time, patterns, shapes, and symmetry, Position, movement, data handling, routines. Now in routines, this is interesting because some of us may say, well, the kids are going to get dirty. There's no way I'm going to do this. They'll come home filthy. The parents will be mad. 
Well, one thing that she suggests, which I think is a great idea as well, is that you require at the beginning of the year, or you ask parents, you do the meter thing with them, you show them how important it is for the kids to be active outside, and you buy them, or have the parents buy them, all a beautiful rain kit. All the same, which may, you have the pants, the, the little raincoat, so the kids, they go outside, they get messy, they get dirty, would you take it off? Voila, they are clean and ready to do something else in the classroom. They're not dirty anymore. Well, maybe a little bit, but you can wash their hands. They need to learn that too. So just for a little uh, final, I think messy math is a great way to try something new, to go outside, to get the kids engaged and, and really build a strong math foundation. And we do need to get the kids outside. Regardless of the math, they need to go get outside, get the fresh air, rediscover nature. And it's also a beautiful problem solving situations can, can happen outside. Just to finish, I would like to uh, cite Jean Piaget, which was a developmentalist, uh, a Swiss developmentalist, who was very, very keen on the importance of play. And I think Miss Robertson, in her book on Messy Math, and I'm sure on her other book, Dirty Teaching, which will maybe be next month book, or I will certainly look into it. Well, the kids need to learn by playing. And this is what Piaget would say. Everything you teach a child is for them a lost opportunity of discovery through play or outdoor play. They become their own teachers. Thank you for watching and enjoy your outdoor experiences. I will certainly try this out in some of the schools as I go around the school board or next year. And I'm very, very curious of seeing what you've tried out and how it's going for you guys. So, see you soon. Bye-bye. Get messy.